are so lucky to be living in this beautiful state of Colorado because we have some of the best roads in the whole world. That's right, baby. We've got alpine roads. We've got amazing highways. We've got places that go high, high altitude. We've got it all. And one of the best in this state is right up there. It's the road leading up to the top of Loveland Pass. And what do we got today? Today we have a brand new, new Mini Cooper S. And we've got the Loveland Pass Road, so let's take it on a Colorado Rocky Mountain ride. That's coming up next. Loveland Pass beckons, Nathan. Yeah, sorry about the weird angle, folks. Such a small window, we don't have a place to put our camera. Oh, no, we can fix this. No, we can fix it. We can fix it. My thing, oh, because then you got the thing on the bottom and it's doing it. I'll sort it out here. Hold on. Here. Come back. <laughs> it's not going to stay. Really? Yeah. All right, let's go, Nathan. <laughs> All right, so I think the most important thing, Nathan, is how much is it as tested? As tested. Over $37,000. Check it out. It is $37,395. That's a lot of money for a Mini. Yeah, that is almost every single regular option that you can get before you go crazy with the trim and all the goodies you can get from the website. That's still a lot of money for a car, but this is a premium small car. It is a premium small car. In fact, it's a lifestyle car, right? Now we're going to be stuck behind this guy. I was trying to get ahead of him. Have to pass the There's a passing zone coming up ahead. <laughs> that, so, that is actually a good time to test the Mini's uh, turbocharged engine, which Absolutely. is basically a BMW engine. Let's face it, this is now a Mini BMW. Actually, I've heard that they co developed this with a French company. Yes, that's the true. Peugeot. So we have a two liter yep. uh, twin turbo four cylinder engine that puts, twin out, turbo? that puts out 189 horsepower and 207 pound foot of torque That's to a six speed automatic. I, I thought it was a single turbocharger. Twin man, twin. We got dual turbos here. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's why hopefully when we start climbing, which we are right now, right, we're almost at tree line, which is 10,000 feet, and we're going above tree line. We, we were filming at uh, 10,000 feet and change, so we're definitely going to be going up a lot higher. Now you've got some passing to do here. Let's see if the Mini's up to it. Well, you know, it's up to it. I can tell you right now this thing's zippy and ready to go. I have it set to in its uh, sport mode. Alright, because there's a long straightaway coming up here before we hit the twisty bits. And if uh, this Mini has enough perk and if we're lucky uh, to not have traffic coming the other way, we can actually pass both that truck and this Chevy because they're going pretty slow. Better go for it. Let's see how it does. Oh, I think we're going to pass one, but I don't think, well, you can pull the other car. No, maybe afterwards. After, this guy should be able to pass this truck, but there's another truck ahead of him. We've had bad luck today because the problem is that the trucks have to come over Loveland Pass if they're, uh... Carrying gas. Yeah, dangerous chemicals. How's it feel? <laughs> this is probably the best automatic transmission I've ever felt in a car this size. It's get up and go. It's really impressive. We are now at about 11,000 feet, or nearly, and... It hauls. You can feel a drop off in power because in town this thing is much snappier, which is, you know, 6,000 feet or so. That's 33% less power. 33% less. Well, no, with the turbocharged, there's a different uh, equation for it. Each turbocharged engine is slightly different. Yes, yeah, so let's say at least 20 to 25% less two, power. Yeah, up here, yeah, maybe. Yeah, and two big guys, let's face it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> We're not the smallest sure. guys in the world. No, this thing, though, it's it's lively. Let me feel it around the corner. Right. No problem. Another passing zone. You can get both these trucks, dude. If All you right. got the power and no one's coming. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, Come this, on, baby. This is indeed the place for a Mini. It's so lively, Nathan. How's it feel? How's it steering? <laughs> yeah, that should answer your question. It's really direct. Oh, yeah. Excellent, Steve. This car feels so much better than the one it replaces. I am in love with the way it feels and it drives and it's so solid. Yeah, hold on, you got a nice uh, uh, oh, it'll be fine. Turn. <laughs> Nothing worry, look. Yeah. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> love it. Oh, love this little guy. 
this is the best part of this car is the fact that on the road I really do feel like I know what's going on with the tires I know what's going on with the angle of attack and when I'm going through a corner it's just how it feels in general and look we're way up here we're now above tree line oh, well yeah. above tree line <laughs> you know, I think the, uh, the top of this Loveland Pass is well above 11,000 feet yeah yeah yep. yep. nearly 20,000 yeah The only reason it's it's slowing down is because I want to slow down. This is an area where people park and yeah, walk yeah, around yeah. the mountain area. I don't want to fly through here. No, no. Let's uh, take it down the pass because we're on the top of the pass right here. Now we're gonna mm -hmm. go over it and let's uh, let's take it down and see how it does. See how the brakes do. Oh yeah. Let's give, a, let's give them a full Colorado Rocky Mountain ride. Yeah. This is elevation eleven thousand nine hundred ninety feet. Yeah, pretty much. 12, so 000. so pretty. Yeah. That's um, almost four thousand meters, guys. Above sea level. That's that's a lot. And now we go down, and by the way, they've just recently paved this section, and it's like a smooth ribbon of justice. And, I love it. You know, this has a John Cooper work suspension, and it's like designed for this kind of road. That's exactly it. Now, I've driven this car through town. I've driven my kids around in it. I've gone onto some pretty nasty roads. And recently, just today, I went over some icy patches and some white snow. And there goes my garage door opener, which flew across the cab. Um, and, and it's worked great on all of those things. Look, guys, this is a driver's car. So the last thing you want is something that's going to be driving around and being squishy, right? And that's exactly it. you got a fairly hard riding car, but suddenly, when you realize how good the suspension is set up, you realize, you know what? This thing rides like a big BMW. It really does, which is a good thing. That is a major compliment. All right. So let's end this very quick Colorado Rocky Mountain ride with a brief rating. On a scale of 1 to 10. Five. Oh, 10. No, 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 no. On a scale, this is a new thing. On a okay. scale of 1 to 10, right? Uh, in terms of road handling ability, what do you give the Mini? With, you know, one being like a 70s American uh, luxury. <laughs> Ford LTD? Yeah. Lincoln? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah and, and 10 being a Formula One car. <laughs> so, you know, what, what do you give it? I'll give it a 7. If 10 is Formula One, yep. uh, I'll give it a 7 because I think this is the best handling car in its class. I just wrote, you recently Here's wrote. Here's our working one. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, over here. We're at the end of our little trip. Just go here, and then we'll do this. <laughs> because you can, and because it's fun in a car like this. And because that's Nathan's way of I just putting love an exclamation like point. Just so much fun to drive this car. <laughs> Nathan, let's recap. We have a turbocharger, and we have a car that drives like a go-kart. What more could you want? And of course, a beautiful twisty road. It is the right car for this road, folks. I highly recommend this type of vehicle when you're on this type of road. It's just magic. It really is fun, and you know what? That's what it's about. This car makes you happy when you're on a twisty road. I can't say anything better than that, Nathan. As always, this is Roman. And Nathan. Saying thanks for watching and check out tflcar.com for more news, views, and real world reviews. guys it's not two turbos well sort of kind of it's a twin scroll turbo which means twin power twin power that's what they call it yeah there's a smaller turbo in the same inlet with larger turbo that's how it works so not not technically two turbos folks this is a twin power car that BMW and Mini have worked very hard on to make it maximum fun driving this well, they succeeded kicked ass yeah, they did. kicked ass they did. they did succeed of course you pay for that $37,000 is a lot of good for this car, but you can get one for like the low 30s and then I think it's worth it. And I do recommend the manual transmission, but this is the first time trying the automatic and you know what? 
This is about the best automatic transmission I have tested in a sporty small car. 31 MPG combined, pretty impressive. That's not bad.